Windows 11 22H2 is now released, and I'm curious to see what kind of changes there are in the operating system. Uh, but first, I want to go ahead and show you how to see what version of Windows that you're currently running. Now to do that, you go ahead and hold down the Windows key and press the letter R for run, and it will open up this run box. Now if you type in Winver, which is short for Windows version, and press enter or click OK, it'll go ahead and pop up a window showing you what version of Windows that you're running. Here we can see we are currently running version 21H2. So let's go ahead and update Windows. To do that, we'll go ahead and click on Start, then on Settings, then come over to Windows Update, and we can see the 22H2 is available. And if we click this link, it'll show us what is in this update. Now I'll leave a link down in the description below if you want to check this out, but let's go ahead and get it installed. Click Download and Install, and now we just hurry up and wait. So now that it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and kind of take a look here. I know in Explorer, they made some changes so when you right click and it's not responding. Good job, Microsoft. Uh, you can now actually go ahead and map a network drive from here instead of having to go to show more options and then mapping the drive. And right click still does not have the ability to bring up the task manager. Microsoft, if you're watching, please add that back. It drives me nuts, thanks. Well, Microsoft added some uh, hotkeys here. It's uh, Windows Alt K. And you can see at the bottom here it says no supported apps in use for mic mute. Uh, it's not detecting OBS that I'm running right now. But if I was in Microsoft Teams, for example, I could hold down the Windows key plus Alt and press the letter K to go ahead and mute or unmute my microphone. So if I go ahead and select a window and hold down the Windows key and press the letter Z, it'll actually come up with numbered snap to positions here. Beforehand, it didn't number them. Now, another new cool feature is to be able to copy the file path of something. So if we just have, say for example, this selected and I hold down Control and Shift and press the letter C for copy, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the terminal and I can paste it right in. That is pretty handy if you ever need to take anything out of Explorer and apply that into a command prompt. Another handy feature here is if you right click on the start button, you can go directly to installed apps if you ever wanna be able to just uninstall something really quickly. Also, you now have terminal and terminal admin and if you wanted to cast right to a device, you, if you hold down the Windows key and press the letter K, it will go ahead and pop up uh, with the menu here to be able to cast directly to a device, provided that you have something that is supported to do so. So now that it's installed, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of take a look here. I know in Explorer, they made some changes so when you right click and it's not responding. Good job, Microsoft. So I finally finished responding. Uh, you can now actually go ahead and map a network drive from here instead of having to go to show more options and then mapping the drive. And right click still does not have the ability to bring up the task manager. Microsoft, if you're watching, please add that back. It drives me nuts, thanks. Well, Microsoft added some uh, hotkeys here. It's uh, Windows Alt K. And you can see at the bottom here it says, no supported apps in use for mic mute. Uh, it's not detecting OBS that I'm running right now, but if I was in Microsoft Teams, for example, I could hold down the Windows key plus Alt and press the letter K to go ahead and mute or unmute my microphone. So if I go ahead and select a window and hold down the Windows key and press the letter Z, it'll actually come up with numbered snap to positions here. Beforehand, it didn't number them. Now, another new cool feature is to be able to copy the file path of something. So if we just have, say for example, this selected and I hold down Control and Shift and press the letter C for copy, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the terminal and I can paste it right in. That is pretty handy if you ever need to take anything out of Explorer and apply that into a command prompt. Another handy feature here is if you right click on the start button, you can go directly to installed apps if you ever wanna be able to just uninstall something really quickly. Also, you now have terminal and terminal admin. And if you wanted to cast right to a device, you, if you hold down the Windows key and press the letter K, it will go ahead and pop up uh, with the menu here to be able to cast directly to a device, provided that you have something that is supported to do so. Now, if we open up Task Manager by clicking Start and then typing in Task Manager, this will go ahead and come on up. And Microsoft added some cool new features here. So for example, uh, on some items, that are running, we can right click and put them into efficiency mode, which basically will throttle that process. 
So if it is taking a bunch of resources at that time and it's something that you would prefer it to go ahead and run in the background, you may be able to go ahead and right click on it and change it to efficiency mode. Now the task manager also introduces some new keyboard shortcuts. So for example, if you do Alt N, it'll go ahead and come up with a create new task. Alt V turns efficiency mode on or off. Now, if you notice, it also has the ability to run a new task by adding a button up here. So if you do control tab, you can actually cycle through all these. And if you do control shift tab, it will go backwards. So another cool shortcut here is under details, I'm going to select this mute me client because I'm not using it. Uh, I can go ahead and hold down alt and press the letter E to end it and then hit enter or return. Now one additional feature that uh, really addresses some security concerns here uh, for DNS was also added. So if we go into uh, start and then settings and then network and internet and select ethernet. Now this is the adapter that I'm currently using. This here for DNS server assignment right now is automatic and over DHCP. If I click on edit and drop that down, go on over to manual, turn on IPv4 and put in a DNS server. And then we can turn on the automatic template of DNS over HTTPS. And ideally you would want the failback to plain text to remain off. So that way that any of your DNS queries are still encrypted end to end. Then just go ahead and hit save. And that is it. Let me know down in the comment section below if there's any other features that you like with the latest version of Windows and I'll catch you in the next one.